Hello. My name's Penny Moon and it's lovely to see you again in a quiet place in Linkage. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, your name and what you're doing here? My name's Paul Booth and uh, I've been here for two years now and, and I've got Asperger's Syndrome. This makes it difficult to communicate during the community and help and the quiet place has actually helped me to um, open new doors to that. Fabulous, fabulous. So tell me a little bit about what you did when you came into a quiet place. When I first went to the quiet place I was kind of scared and rather nervous so they assured me that everything is okay and um, and and they do sorts of things as Tai Chi, they do um, the massage and they also do this animated computer game where they actually plug this um, this this clip onto your finger and it measures your um, measures your your pulse rate and your heart rate so it um, shows that you're calm and um, and if you're a bit upset and everything like that. And did you find that to be helpful when you went out away from a quiet place? Are there things that you could take away and help you outside? Yes, I did. I really did enjoy that. It actually gave me a sense of well-being and, um, and I learnt how to cope in the real world as well. Fantastic. And do you think other people could benefit by coming into a quiet place? Definitely. They should. They, they will because they will actually benefit from all of these things because it will make a vulnerable person who who really um, thinks that they're quite vulnerable and they they're really scared about the 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 what the um about the real world and um they tend to um they will tend to um be locked in their own little safety zone but the quiet room helps you to open them doors into the real world and helps you to cope with that. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And did you find that being in a quiet place helped you become more creative? Yes it did, it helped me to be more creative and open up to new, new things. Right. And did you do some creative writing, I believe? You've got rather a nice poem you told me about. Yes, I did. I did a poem um, reflecting on my experiences of the quiet place. Yes, I wonder if you'd mind reading it to us. No problem. Thank you. I know what you do. Yes, please do. A Quiet Place by Paul Booth. Happiness is a place called tranquility, where no one sleeps and we are free. Calm and present for everyday emotions, you, pu you can pull all of your life and all of your devotions. We smell a burgot hits the air. Can I start like? Yes, of course you can, yes. Happiness is a place. A quiet place. Happiness is a place called tranquility, where no one sleeps and we are free, calm in the presence of everyday emotions. You can put all your life and all of your devotions. The smell of bergamot hits the air and the sounds of drums lay life bare. If you let, if you may find a feeling of relaxing state, it's, it is not there to devastate. Tai Chi endorses the spirit from within. It's more of hopeful factor and not a spit and not a sin. We all have a quiet place in our hearts and sometimes just takes its part. Being left alone in an enchanted forest 
with a spell of lavender all around, you leave the room and all your problems behind. So let your hair down and take a breath and think and, th and think about life, not death. Wow, that's fabulous. It says it all. It certainly does. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. And where do you think that's come from? Where do you think those words have come from? It's come from my heart. And it's come from it's come from my feelings of what from all my feelings about the quiet place and how it's helped me and everything associated with it. Right. And do you think that the word a quiet place means something to a lot of people? Yes, yes, it does. But there's many people out in the real world that that wants to actually join the quiet place, that actually doesn't have a quiet place themselves. Mm -hmm. They want to learn what, um, they want to learn what um, the, it is about the quiet place about, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. Fabulous. And you were saying it, it was a metaphor for something? Yes, it was. It was a part of your brain where you just want to relax and mm -hmm. you just want to have time to yourself. Mm -hmm. Paul, thank you very much. I'm very pleased to see you again, and I know lots of people will find what you've said very powerful and interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.